Harry, we're on the road once again, uh, facing Bromley tomorrow. What are your thoughts going into it? <sighs> Definitely a tough test. Um, one, because Bromley are a very good team. Uh, two, very strong, very powerful. Um, uh, second, uh, obviously we're going to be playing on a different surface. So again, all these things kind of factor into um, the game. But for us, we're, I know the results haven't been positive. But the, the way that we've been playing is, is, is good. There's, there's a lot of good signs that we're seeing. Um, the way that the team has structured, the way that they're moving, the way that we're scoring goals is positive. I suppose we've just got to stop um, some kind of individual errors. And if we can stop that, hopefully we can have a, a good opportunity to, to pick up three points. I mean, like you mentioned on Tuesday, we came, we showed real fight and determination to come from two goals down to, to level the scoring just before half time. That must give us a real, a real boost of confidence going into this one. I've, I've, I've been confident with my team for um, uh, a while now because of the way that they're, they're, they're showing their attitude. Like I said, there's, there's minor things that we're working on now and if we can get that into our game, we're, we're going to become uh, stronger as a unit. If we can get that, that means hopefully then the results will become a little bit more positive. But still, at the end of the day, we're, we're coming up against 11 men that are fighting for three points as well. So it's always going to be tough. You, you always have to do that the basics of football, which is hard work, have the right attitude, and make sure you do your job properly. If you do that, you've got a good chance. Adam Marriott has actually been credited with the, with the uh, equaliser um, against Chesterfield. Um, what impact can him and both Sam Granville have on, uh, have on, on tomorrow's match? Well, I don't know if Sam's too happy about that. I mean, but again, Maz, Maz will actually take the, the credit for it because that's, that's what strikers do. Um, so I haven't actually asked who's actually taking credit, but you're telling me uh, Adam's got it now. Um, look, Adam's slowly getting back to full fitness. Again, you know, COVID takes, takes it out of players and he's, he's really kind of bounced into three games in, in, in a row. So he's getting stronger and stronger. And again, Sam's 17 years old, you know, thrown into the deep end against men's football and he's, he's, holding, his, he's holding his own. Yes, uh, he's improving. Yes, we are improving as a squad and that's what we need to do. We need to help each other. Uh, not only at training, but obviously on the day of the game as well. I mean, how are the lads faring? Obviously, it was a long trip up to, to Chesterfield on uh, on Tuesday night. Um, I, I'm, I'm assuming we're, we're ready to go for uh, for Saturday. Well, we have to be ready. Uh, we, we can't have no um, hangover. We can't have no sadness about us. Um, the best thing about football, there's always another game. And, and our next game is Bromley away. Um, and it's, it is going to be a tough test, but we're, we're relishing it. I mean, a win against Bromley tomorrow would see us climb above them in the table, which obviously be a, a huge boost of confidence for the lads. Well, of course, but let's not look at it like that. We, we want to look at it as a good performance, a good structure in our play. Um, and to be able to, to, to come out of Bromley knowing that we, we, we've done our jobs properly, that's what we're looking for. And just finally, obviously back in front of the away fans, have you got a message for them? Look, I know that they're, they're, they're travelling all around the country supporting us, which is fantastic. And I just hope now we can, we can finally deliver some, some points for them. Uh, it, it has been frustrating, not only for the players and, and all the staff that are working here, but especially the fans. They want to see their team up that, up that table where they should belong. But we have to work hard at that and we all have to pull together. So we'll be expecting them to be coming strong and doing their voices and, and cheering on the team.